Good evening. My name is Ashley Fulmer and I am the Science Coordinator for Riverside Unified. On behalf of Riverside Unified's Board of Education and Superintendent Dr. Hansen, we would like to welcome our amazing young scientists and engineers, their families and community members to the 2021 Science and Engineering Fair Awards Ceremony. Tonight, we will be honoring our participants and awarding our gold, silver, and bronze medals, as well as our UCR sponsored awards. I would like to give a special thank you to all of our parents, families, teachers, and coordinators for supporting these students. I would also like to thank all of the judges for the hard work that went into judging each and every one of the projects virtually. At this time, I'd like to invite our board president, Mr. Tom Hunt, to say a few words. Hi, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, this is Tom Hunt. I'm the president of the RUSD Board of Education. And on their behalf, and as well as Dr. Hansen, our superintendent, I want to uh, just compliment you that are involved and recognize our RUSD Science Fair and, and Technology that will be taking place in a long uh, partnership, 25 years now, I believe, we've had with UCR and their different colleges of science and technology, according to the book, Born School of Engineering. Thank you, Gordon Borns and your family. And uh, the it's the UCR College of uh, Natural um, Agriculture Science. That's how UCR was founded. And, uh, and of course, the Borns, where anywhere from our kindergartners to our seniors in high school participate on different science projects. And they are, uh, they put them forward for competition and they spend uh, nearly countless hours uh, on these projects. And we can be proud of them because we know going forward in particular that, that science, technology, engineering, and math uh, courses are some of the most job producing courses and, and uh, the foundation for such of about 8.6 million job openings here in America today, even more in coding. And uh, that's where we're going right now. These people are heroes that, that are involved in, in uh, science technology. And I mean, we can prove it at, at this point right now in, in our own lives. Look at the scientists and everyone involved, the lab techs that are creating the vaccine for us to be safe with this foreign invasion of, of uh, the, the COVID virus. And so they make a great difference. And so can you in those careers. And starting out with the science and technology fair and all we have to do there. Again, thank you to UCR for their partnership. Thank you to our faculty and staff that lead these young people, our students towards this. And young people, get involved. And there's all kind of areas. Uh, I had heart surgery two years ago. Uh, there were 16 people involved in that. Two of them were doctors. There's a couple nurses as well. Everyone else, phlebotomists to, to uh, uh, x-ray, uh, and even the, the building folks were involved in my heart surgery. So there are great careers and futures when you look at, at how science and technology, engineering and math, just in the medical field there, uh, can take you somewhere. And in closing, again, thank you to our partnership with the University of California, Riverside, the leadership over there, including Ch Chancellor Wilcox, and then back here to RUSD, to the board that has continued to invest in science, technology, engineering, and math, investing in the future, to all of the faculty and staff that are involved in, in the, in the uh, instruction, the teaching, the inspiration for these young people, our students from K to 12, that can go into these uh, careers, but also just be inspired, learn learn how to, how to study and uh, go forward. So I remind you, be unified, be careful, stay safe, and thank you for being part of RUSD. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. We will now begin the presentation of awards for our primary division, which is our kindergarten through third grade students. We have five bronze medals. Arlo Sachs, the power of reactions, what chemical reactions release the most energy from Washington Elementary. Natalie Campos, are you left-sided or right-sided? Lake Matthews Elementary. Liliana Lizarega, planting flowers that bees use to pollinate in my community from Lake Matthews Elementary. 
Roy DeGrella. Which natural remedies is the most effective for killing germs to prevent the spread of diseases and COVID-19? From Lake Matthews Elementary. Rose DeGrella, which face mask is the most effective to prevent the spread of COVID-19? Lake Matthews Elementary. Our silver medals for our primary division go to Jesse Alvera, the impact of global warming on the population of sea turtles, tracking sea turtles in North America from Washington Elementary, and Ben McLaughlin, three balls and one bat, Washington Elementary. We have two gold medal winners for our primary division. The first is Noah Quinto, Power of Produce from Lake Matthews Elementary. And our highest scoring primary project goes to Brianne Orn and Ian Orn, Boat Float with Weights from Lake Matthews Elementary. Next, we will introduce the medals for our elementary division, which is our fourth and fifth grade students. For this division, all students that receive a medal will be moving on to the Riverside County Science and Engineering Fair competition. For animal, cellular, and molecular biology, the silver medal goes to Elizabeth Lowry, Device Bacterial Growth from Lake Matthews Elementary. And our gold medal goes to Elizabeth Estioko, Our Dogs Colorblind from Lake Matthews Elementary. For the engineering category, silver medal goes to Lauren Stewart, balloon-powered car from Mountain View Elementary. And our gold medal goes to Elizabeth Hoyer and Lucy Quinto, paper maker, Lake Matthews Elementary. For chemistry, health, and medical sciences, our bronze medal goes to Nora Sachs, Rising to the Challenge, What Makes Bread Rise the Most from Washington Elementary. Our silver medal goes to Paxton Chitwood, The Cleanest Surface from Washington Elementary. And the gold goes to Cadence Chitwood, Blow It Out from Washington Elementary. For physics, robotics, and intelligent machines, the silver medal goes to Rowan Schmidt, Hold, Fly, Reach for the Sky, from Mountain View Elementary. And our gold medal goes to Sam Miller, Jerry the Cleaning Bot, from Highland Elementary. We will now move on to our UCR sponsored awards. Hi, my name is Adeline Gomez. I am currently a graduate student at UC Riverside in the Department of Microbiology and Plant Pathology. My department would like to award the project titled An Analysis of the Absorption of Iron in Spinach in Karst Topography with Iron Soil Supplements by the student Kishan Tilati. The project was well executed and it depicted a great understanding of the subject. We will be providing the student with a signed certificate and a gift card. Thank you all that submitted a project. It was great seeing them. Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Koh and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry. This year, the chemistry submissions were evaluated by PhD chemists at UC Riverside. In the junior division, first place is awarded to Spray Paint Sellout by Gemma Alvarez. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Tim Su from uh, UCR's chemistry department. Uh, today I'll be announcing the senior division award. So um, second place is awarded to Eric B for his poster structural determination of a bio-inspired perchlorate reduction catalyst through chemical modeling. First place in the senior division is awarded to Clara Bardeen for her poster art restoration in Raman spectroscopy how the historical watercolor Chinese white affects pigment photodegradation. Overall, the judges were very impressed with the high quality of work and creativity being done by these young scientists. We feel very optimistic that the future of chemistry is in their hands. Hello, my name is Connie Nugent, and I'm a faculty member and divisional dean of student academic affairs in the College of Natural and Agricultural Sciences at UCR. 
It's my pleasure to announce the CNAS College Awards. My team reviewed all of the projects this year, and I want to start by congratulating each and every student who submitted a project this year. You all showed resilience, determination, and lots of creativity. It was a lot of fun. I also would like to take a moment to thank RUSD for all of their work in putting on the science fair as well. It demonstrates your support for all of our student scientists in the district. Okay, so to select our best project at each level was very difficult. We were impressed by so many submissions. Okay, so here it is. The CNAS Elementary Award is presented to Nora Sachs from Washington Elementary with Blow It Out. This was a very topical project comparing mask effectiveness and very impressive in her thoroughness. Congratulations, Nora. The CNAS Junior Award is presented to Sophie Zhang from Kennedy Elementary for Magnet's Effect on Water Flow. Her work was very detailed and thorough in every respect. I'm really looking forward to seeing future submissions from her as well. Finally, the CNAS Senior Award is presented to Eric B from King High School for structural determination of a bio-inspired perchlorate reduction catalyst through chemical modeling. What was particularly impressive for his project was the extent and quality of the research he has done. Congratulations to all of the students. Um, each of our awardees will be receiving a plaque, kind of like this one, but for 2020, the correct year, a certificate, a CNAS t-shirt, and $50. Thank you all. Our next division is the junior division, which is our sixth through eighth grade students. All students that receive a medal will be moving on to the Riverside County Science and Engineering Fair competition. For behavioral, social, health, and medical sciences, our silver medal goes to Isaac Olvera, the Neurocognitive Squale of COVID-19, a review of current research from Washington Elementary. And our gold medal goes to Kira Zhang, Weigh the Soul Using a Balance Board from Kennedy Elementary. For Physics and Earth Sciences, the silver medal goes to Ron Teg Bajwa, Modeling the Effect of Global Warming on San Diego from Kennedy Elementary. And our gold medal goes to Sophie Zhang, Magnet's Effect on Water Flow from Kennedy Elementary. For chemistry and plant sciences, our gold medal goes to Gemma Alvarez, spray paint sellout from Kennedy Elementary. Our last division is our senior division, which is our ninth through 12th grade students. All students that receive a medal will be moving on to the Riverside County Science and Engineering Fair competition. Our first category is behavioral and social sciences. Our silver medal goes to Tanaya Jog, The Analysis of Tiger Parenting and a Teenager's Self-Esteem from King High School. And our gold medal goes to Michelle Chang, The Impediments that Virtual Schooling Has on Comprehension as a Result of Multitasking and Increased Speeds of Watching from King High School. Our next category is Biochemistry. Our gold goes to Hedy Bien and Aditya Desai, analyzing the efficacies of potential inhibitors of drug targets, human receptors ACE2, and viral replication enzyme RDRP against SARS-CoV-2 from King High School. For chemistry, our silver medal goes to Eric B. Structural determination of a bio-inspired perchlorate reduction catalyst through chemical modeling from King High School. And our gold, Clara Bardeen, Art Restoration and Raman Spectroscopy 
How the Historical Watercolor Chinese White Affects Pigment Photo Degradation from King High School. For Engineering, Energy, and Transport, Silver Medal goes to Jonathan Kim and Hawan Nam, Applying Clean and Renewable Energy Sources to Transportation-Oriented Fixed-Wing Aircraft from King High School. And our gold goes to Jessica Yin, Buy More Face Rolly Pulley Structure for Waste Heat Recovery from King High School. For Environmental Sciences and Management, Silver goes to Madeline Wilson, How Can Urban Runoff Change the Ecosystem of a Blue Lined Creek from King High School? And our gold, Jeremy Horta, the, de the Development of an Automatic Portable Air Filter Removing Impurities in the Earth's Atmosphere from King High School. For Physics and Astronomy, our gold medal goes to Emma Shaw, Machine Learning to Identify Hydrogen Absorption from King High School. For Bioinformatics, Robotics, and Intelligent Machines, Silver, Sung Min Her, DVI, Disease Virus Index to Inform Warnings of Influenza Using Machine Learning from King High School. And our gold, Andrew Yin, Machine Learning on Facial Expressions and Emotions from King High School. Our final category of the evening is Microbiology and Plant Sciences. Our silver medal goes to Audrey Meadows, the premises of applying computational algorithms to enhance microbiological studies from King High School. And our gold, Keyshawn Talati, an analysis of the absorption of iron in spinach in karst topography with iron soil amendment from King High School. That concludes our program tonight. Once again, thank you to all of our scientists, engineers, and their families. Have a great evening. Thank you.